we are going to build winter boxes for these uh, for my bees. It's late in the game because we are building this house. Things have just been totally crazy. But we've got a few warm days here in a row where it's in the mid 40s. And so I'm gonna try and sneak, do this, sneak out and, and drop it on and then get out of there. So I think they'll be okay. I am going to take this wood here and frame in probably just up a shelf and underneath that shelf with some spacing I'm gonna staple this to that shelf inside the rim that I'm gonna create and that way they'll have a little bit of gap between maybe an inch or so between that and the brood boxes that this will be sitting on and then I'm gonna I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna rig up some type of supports so that I can, uh, I bought a couple of pillowcases and some finer shavings. So, some wood shavings, and I'm gonna put those in the top to catch moisture. Two side rails, I'll just do here and then we'll staple in these guys. And I'll do a cross piece too, I think, just for stability. Okay, that's all stapled in there. Looks good. So we will put our sugar, we'll cake some sugar in there. And then I've got to figure out what I want to do to get my wood chips up in there. Get that sorted out. All right, what I decided to do is uh, create these little platform stems. That gives me about two and a half inches, so I can put about two inches of sugar or an inch and a half of sugar down in there and then i'm gonna my plan right now is to build a frame that i can set down in there across here and so i'll use this wood i think unless i change my mind and then cut another patch of this that I can just set in there and then I can take my pillowcases and this and put it in here and then I'll drill some vent holes up here to keep airflow coming across here kind of like the attic in a house so the wood chips are sort of kind of insulation but <clears throat> at the same time moisture wicking and then with airflow across the top a little bit just a little bit it should keep moisture from down the so i built this frame and all i need is something to get me through this winter and so let me check and make sure this lowers down in there perfect so now i'm going to put this stuff up on top and then uh, I'll be able to put the pillowcase on there and you can see that it has plenty of space to do the sugar and then lift this up. If it stays together pretty well, I'll just 
Use it till it falls apart, and then I'll order those felt boards. All right, that looks good. I think we'll just set that right in there. And then I can do the pillowcase on top. And you can see there's plenty of space in there for to do the sugar. One down, one to go. I have to go buy more wood. Hey, I went out and took my table saw outside and ripped a bunch of these. So should have enough to assemble the next box. There right. we go. Second base is built. Looks good. Okay, the second one's built. Let's see if that drops in there. Perfect. All right, now I'll take these and go make the sugar patties. I had a go. bunch of uh, old sugar from food storage that we're recycling out. So I just used that this year. And you just add water. I think they say, well, you can look up ratios for making patties. I got my ratios off because anyway, I put too much water in it first and then things just started going sideways. So I just mixed it to eyesight consistency. I might be too wet even. You don't put that much water in. And then I can't decide if I'm gonna I was going to pack it down into these, but I built these different, so there's a one-inch space now. Before, I just pack them down because they were the, the, they were flush with the countertop. So I might put some wax paper in there, pack them into a patty, and then in the morning, I'll lift it up and take the chunks out that are all hardened, take the wax paper out and just set them in there. Might be what I do. All right, those B boxes are pretty hardened up. I'm gonna see if I can take them apart. I ran a fire last night and then this morning just to keep a lot of warmth on them. Let's go take them apart, see if they work. All right, so I'm pulling these blocks to create the space. And it's looking good so far. This is this is only I would I said on the last early part of the video I was gonna have uh, two or two inches or an inch and a half, but it's only about three quarters of an inch thick, so looks like a ton of sugar, but probably still is way too much, but <clears throat> it is what it is. Won't hurt anything. Okay, I didn't go through the whole sugar patty cake making process. You can look those up online. All I did was, uh, <clears throat> there's a certain ratio of water to sugar. It's very little water. It'll seem like it's not enough. You mix it and you can make patties and then just set them in there, like make them in a nine by nine dish, or you can pack it in there yourself. I put some wax paper down just cause I have this grating down there and I didn't want it to push through and fall out so I let it solidify overnight and it's hard and if they need to they can come up and feed on that if they don't I'll dump it out and throw it away in the, in the spring um, so I'm gonna put a couple pillowcases in here put my cages in these guys in here with a pillowcase full of uh, this stuff, some uh, just bedding, shavings um, that'll absorb moisture. And then drill a couple holes for ventilation across there and then go out and stick them on the hives. It's about 35 degrees a day. I waited too long, it's dumb to do it this late, but such is life. I'm just gonna do a quick swap. Take off the top, put these on, close it, and get out of there, hopefully just in seconds. <clears throat> so I've got that pillowcase filled with half of this. It's pretty thick, a couple inches thick, a few inches thick maybe. Um, I drilled some vent holes here and hopefully that'll keep ventilation going and the moisture will be absorbed in this pillowcase. 
and we'll just set this on top of the hive put the lid on and close it right back up just do that in seconds oh let me get the other one ready and we'll take kind them of interesting i when we harvested honey um there were some wasps in the hives and um all the honeybees died that were in the you know those <clears throat> those frames out there we brought in that had honey and then we harvested the honey here and the bees would fly up to the window and some of them left when we opened the door others just died on the floor all the bees died but i keep finding wasps but they're in this state of lethargy where they're barely moving and they'll just be laying, I'll find them laying on the floor or I move something and there's one there and it looks like they're dead and then all of a sudden something moves on them. It's really weird. Anyway, I was just sorting through my stuff here to, <clears throat> to put a, to go out and place these and, um, found a wasp. All right, we got these here. Oof. I need to clear off those platforms. Let's get these placed. Yeah, I placed that one. It literally just took me seconds. I took off that top frame and uh, there was nothing in it. And the bees were down in the base and I could hear them. And uh, I saw a little bit of movement up top, maybe a couple. But I'll uh, stop this and film me doing the second one. So. <clears throat> All right, so those were actually up at the top. A bunch of them were up in here. So those winter boxes are on, and I hope that's helpful to them. So, sun actually poked out. It's probably close to 40 degrees, so it's not too bad. And I should have done this earlier, but I was building that house for the last five months. But I'm glad to have it done. <clears throat> All right. So I'll probably uh, send this out to students as a field trip. Putting the winter hives on. The winter box on the hives. And I, I bought hives this year that have a slot for ventilation. I drilled a couple of holes in there on each side. And then there's a little gap up in here. And then I have those pillows up top and the food in there. So I should have more ventilation this year um, to keep the moisture content down. There's food in there. And then there's that moisture wicking pillow up on top. So we should be good, good for the winter. <sighs> Fingers crossed they get through. Last winter started in like October and it was the never ending winter and they finally died around early March, late February. But hopefully these two get through and we have another really good season. A friend of mine offered to he owns a 400 acre farm that way he used to dairy farm till a few years ago it was 100 and, i taken you there on a field trip jed heap maybe i'll resend those out because it's kind of a cool field trip 
Um, but he, uh, he offered to have me bring the hives up to his farm out in the middle where there's tons of different types of trees and he's got different crops and stuff for next summer. And we might do that and I'll make some more field trips with my bees up there at the farm. Because yeah, we'll see. Got to get them through the winter first. All right, guys. Fun, fun.